Serbia is um, geographically in Europe, but it's not a part of European Union. And we had um, a civil war during the 90s, and um, it's actually a very economically poor country. We had uh, many problems during the 90s and 2000 and, um, with the uh, refugees and IDPs. Only in my town there were 400,000 uh, uh, yeah, refugees and IDPs came from Bosnia, Croatia and uh, Kosovo. We also, in addition to that, in uh, 2010, 3rd of November, we had the earthquake in our town, 5.4 uh, Richter scale, and it really damaged many, many objects. Actually, there wasn't an object in our town that wasn't uh, damaged in some way, uh, particularly schools and hospitals and um, uh, private uh, apartments and houses as well. I think it was 250 boxes, which is uh, 500 ties, white ties with acrylic paint uh, called art and tie packages. And when I saw one of these boxes, I got an idea to make a little more of it, to benefit more for the, for the school from it. We actually wanted to paint these ties and then make an auctions and uh, to sell them, to raise the money to, uh, for the benefit of the school, which was damaged by the earth earthquake. Uh, still in Serbia we have problems with employment, but we hope in years ahead that we, we will try to solve that and we trying to uh, uh, teach our children to uh, be, um, you know, persistent in education. We hope to become a part of European Union. They could go and study somewhere else. I just hope that um, yeah, in education we can um, open children's eyes to um, uh, accept other nations, accept other religions, um, because we are all the same, actually. We are the same people. We have different beliefs, but still we need to live together, we need to recognize others' um, uh, di differences and just accept them. And I hope and I believe that education is the key uh, in that. We are trying not to wait for somebody to solve our problems. We are trying to put ourselves into it and to help our school as much as we can. Thank you.